Hello friends. Today I'm going to talk uh, another question posted on Power BI Community Forum. The question was, there is a data set where there is a supplier, a week and uh, price for a product. And what user wanted was to select one or more suppliers in the slicer, let's say supplier A, supplier B, look at what are the common items between those suppliers and then compare the price or show the average price. So, or, or if we or she select uh, more than one, two suppliers, let's say A, B, C, D suppliers uh, selected in the slicer, get the common product between all those four suppliers and just show only those products and show the prices of those products or average prices of those products. So it, it is pretty interesting um, business question. Uh, let's get to Power BI, take a look at the data and also the solution. Okay, here we are, a simple table um, where we have a a, I don't know what connection table, uh, column is, the supplier, a item, a week, and price. Uh, if we look at the data and metrics view, I have selected all the suppliers. So A, B, C, and if, if a user selects supplier A and supplier A and B, uh, there are three products which are common in between these two suppliers. Book is common. Uh, Bottle is not in supplier B, chair is not in supplier B, and note and pen is um, supplier B. It means these three book, note, and pen are the uh, common products between these three, uh, these two slide, uh, suppliers. If I have selected A, B, and C, in this case, book is common product, and then chalk is common product note and pen so there's four products all the products in the b is also uh, uh, common in in c so user oh, the, the ask is again as explained um, so user can select any of the suppliers one or more and uh, two or three or four and whatever the common products come into that four um, uh, selected suppliers only show those items so what we're going to do here is first and the foremost thing in this is to find out what are the common products between the suppliers. So what we can do is um, I'm going to start writing a measure here. Uh, let's uh, call it common items. Maybe your once it comes up. So let's say common items between suppliers so what we need to do is first to find out um, whatever the all the products currently selected based on the selection uh, how many number of suppliers are in that particular product so let me show you guys items with uh, supplier count Let's create a table. So what we're going to do here is summarize. So what we're going to do is summarize because we want to own all the selected uh, records. So all selected we will use here. So whatever is in our selection right now on the sheet one. And uh, we um, um, categorize it by item. So because we want to see what items and each item within the selected um, records currently what we have what is the uh, supplier count so that will be pretty simple distinct of uh, supplier uh, actually we should give the table name so so uh, that would give us okay perfect so let's uh, return as always we check what happens here so count rows to make sure it is working i mean there's nothing fancy we're going to get out of it so what this is doing is given on all the selected rackets so we have selected supplier a and b whatever that racket set turns out to be after selection of those two suppliers 
all the records from the sheet one, group it by item. In this case, uh, we are grouping by item. And then by each item, get the distinct count of the supplier. So that's what this is giving us. Now we know, so what will happen just if we look at the data here. So in this case, it will give book, uh, item book as two suppliers. Um, that's a count, the distinct count is it, it's a two uh, suppliers. For bottle, it will give us one supplier. In chair, it will give us one supplier. In note, it will give again two supplier. Pen, it will give us two supplier. So now we, this is what this particular table is going to do for us. Now what we can do is, it's pretty straightforward from here. So we can now see what are the items which meet the criteria, like uh, which meet the uh, selected supplier. So we know our selected supplier count is uh, what uh, is two. So what we can do is, uh, well, we can write another um, measure a variable here, selected supplier count. So that is pretty straightforward. We can say count rows, uh, okay, hang on a second, calculate, count rows. And that would be distinct count of, actually I can say the values as well, but let's say, why I'm doing this count there's no point so so we're saying distinct count of sheet one supplier for all the selected uh, suppliers at this point in time so that's what it is going to give us so if I just bring this variable here quickly and showcase what this will return us I will put it on a KPI so this is, yeah, okay, so that would be, let's put it in a KPI here. Uh, so if we see the value here, we will see a two supplier selected as I select. So now it's two, now it's three, again two or whatever. So that this is giving us how many suppliers we have selected. Let's go back to our measure. So now we know, okay, each item, there are how many suppliers. Uh, in our selection and now we also know how many supplier uh, we are looking at so this from here onward it becomes very very easy so what we can create another variable items um, actually maybe filter uh, filter items so what we can do here is filter our item with supplier count where our supplier count is equal to selected supplier count so if each one item has a two suppliers so because we are looking for the two suppliers currently selected for example so from based on the selected supplier count how many of those items meet the criteria so that will give us the the number of uh, 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 items it means these items now we know meet the criteria and then finally what we need to do is uh, count rows of sheet one and apply the filter uh, filter our sheet one which meet the criteria what we are looking for that is filter items and if if I put that measure here in this list here. So if we look at this, we have B and C selected. So as you can see, book uh, has a one chart. So the, the one where we have the value, it means that meet the criteria. So as you can see, the bottle is blank because it did not meet the criteria. Bottle is not in supplier B. Chair is not in supplier B. And these are the four items which meet the criteria. If we select A and B, for example, so book, bottle, chair. So book meets the criteria, bottle does not, chair does not. So book, note, and pen are the items which are in both the suppliers. So now we know what, what those items are. Actually, let, let me get rid of these uh, other uh, measures from here for a second. So here are, here are the common items now we see. So if we select ABC, uh, these are the three items which match. If uh, if I select B and C, these four items matches. 
between the selected supplier and if I select A and C these are the one two three four five items uh, matches with uh, between these uh, two selected suppliers so from here onward it is very very easy if I really want a price uh, I want to compare the price or average price the user in on the community said you wanted to compare the average price I can actually write I should write a measure so let's see if I drop the price here and say average and I just need to be now I can have a uh, filter it where uh, is not blank and that's it so it means this is the price now depending on how we want to visualize it maybe we want to visualize it in a matrix way where I have an item on rows and the supplier on on um, on columns and remove this and now I can see the items which are common between these two suppliers uh, what the price is so book is two dollar and four dollar or whatever so if we go A and B um, now I have these three items which is common rather than seeing all the items now we are seeing the common items between the suppliers and uh, we are comparing the price this was a, a, a another fun uh, DAX solution uh, where the question was not like a very common asked question on the community it's one of those odd questions and I love doing videos on these kind of questions which are not common I hope you learn one or two things out of this uh, how to uh, you know uh, by writing a DAX thinking through this how you can um, uh, make uh, make a solution uh, I will be again, as I said before, will be posting more videos like this as I get more questions on the community forum and uh, try to share up with all of you. Uh, do subscribe my channel. Uh, until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.